Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna learn a bit about Golang interface. So I get this question in my last video and that was not the first time I get this one. So uh, uh, why not make a little video about that? So this video is not as good as like, if you read the documentation and stuff like that, you just like a way, like, finally just a little example about where and how you can use interface. And I hope that's gonna help you. If you still have some question, don't hesitate to put that in the comment and I'm gonna answer that and maybe do another video about that. So the plan in this video is gonna be to just make one interface and use it. <laughs> and and one thing I want to show you, it's uh, something we're gonna get, I, I, I do in one of my course, I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video, it's doing analytic stuff. So example, we're gonna create a directory called analytic. In this directory, I want to create uh, a file called analytic. Analytics. And here, the idea is to create a, a package. We're gonna do everything about the analytic and you don't care about which kind of third party uh, uh, web services and whatever you use. So the idea about an interface is to create a contract and you need to follow this contract. If you follow these contracts, you now implement this interface and you are good to be used everywhere where this interface would be used finally. So example here, what I want to do is to create a client interfaces. So here, what, I'm, what I do, it's I say, if you want to be a client of my interfaces, you need to follow those methods we're gonna implement right there. One of this is gonna be identify. So I use segment and this is kind of what they use. So I just kind of get the name from uh, of the method from there, but you can call it whatever you want. So this identify is gonna be a function. We're gonna get a user ID as an integer and you're gonna receive an email also as a string. That's it. This thing return nothing. Uh, but I mean, it can return a, a, an error, so that's it. After that, I'm gonna have another function called a method called track event. This thing need to receive an event who's gonna be a string and some data. And the thing about the data, it's um, we don't know the type of, like we want to pass some kind of JSON stuff or whatever, like uh, what we want to pass. And for now, we're gonna just use a map string of empty interface. That's it. So what that mean is you can just pass like a string user ID who can be an integer and maybe a str uh, email string here and to be a email string finally. Now after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an analytic struct. This one here gonna get injected a, a client. Uh, oh, sorry. Gonna have a client, sorry about that. And now we're gonna have a function called new who's gonna return a pointer to the analytic struct we have here. So we're gonna create the pointer in line like that. And now this one here, gonna receive a client. And a client is gonna be a type of a client interface. And now we can pass client like that, or you can do client, client. <clears throat> and now here, I'm gonna create two function for this analytic, just so we, that you're gonna understand what we can do. So I'm gonna create a, a, a method called, uh, on my analytic called register. So this method is gonna be called when we uh, register a user. And this thing can return an error. So now here, what I can do, it's I can call return a dot identify. So finally, every time I'm gonna register a user, I want to identify, identify my user. And for now, I'm gonna get the same pattern, like uh, I think it's an int, yeah, as an int and as an email string. So finally, I just pass what we get here. And this thing works because identify, return an error, and it will return an error. So we can do right that, uh, like that right there. I'm gonna create another one called login. So example, if a user is login, I'm gonna get also his user ID and email, but now we're gonna call track event. And track event, we need to pass a string first, so we're gonna call the function, the event login. And now I need to pass a map string of empty interface. And now I can say I want to pass user ID equal to the user ID. And I can pass email equal to email. That's it. And now uh, what track event? Uh, well, because we forget to return error also. Beauty of Go, you get the error right there. 
Now, what we can do is create two package in this uh, folder. One can be called segment. So example, you want to use segment or maybe you want to have a mock one. So a mock one is going to be used, uh, example, for testing. So first thing, we're going to create this segment one. You're going to see it's pretty simple. So we're going to go segment right there. And now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a type client. It's going to be a struct. Now I'm using Golan. So what I can do is I can do implement interface like that by doing option enter. And now I can type my client and I'm going to do a uh, do the client interface like that. And the uh, going to finally fill all the implementation for me. Uh, I think you can do that also with VS Code. Or if you don't, what you need to do, it's kind of like copy those things and put that as a method of this client pointer. Now another thing I'm going to create is I'm going to create a new uh, function. I kind of like it, but you don't, it's not always best practice, but for now it's good. So like that. And now those things are the function who, as you can see, follow the interface. So you see, we follow the interface. And the reason why it's because the client have the two method ask with the same signature as the contract asked by the client. And all and now, if you see here, example, if I change user ID to be a string, now I just break everything so my client don't follow anymore the interface. So this is the kind of thing you can do. And now just for the third uh, testing purpose, remember here you can put your segment uh, stuff here. We're going to just do log print F and I'm going to say segment identify and I'm going to say I'm going to do an object just so we're going to be able to see what I pack, what I'm passing. So I just want to print those uh, item. That's it with an, a new line at the end. So we're going to pass user ID and the email and I'm going to return nil because we have no error. And I'm going to do the same exact stuff for the track event. But now here we're going to call that track event. I'm going to just put that so it's easier to read. I'm going to just do event. It's going to be here. And here we're going to just say data. It's going to be a type of um, plus V like that. So we're going to be able to see the full type like that. So now I have segment. I'm going to copy that just so it's going to be much more simpler. I'm going to go to my mock, create a mock file, and I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to just replace the name to be mock. And now I'm going to replace all the, the name here by mock. Now remember that the segment one will really play with the real segment API and stuff like that. The mock is just to show the print. So example, in your testing stuff and thing like that, you can just do the printing or uh, just assert the fact that you get called from those things. I, I can do a video and showing what kind of testing you can do with the uh, assertion. Uh, assertion, sorry for that. Uh, just let me know in the comments, but you're gonna see it's pretty simple and pretty nice to see. But now what happened? It's now I can go to inside my main that go. And this is the place where finally we can just use what we've just created. So I'm going to delete this line because why not? And now I'm going to create an analytic client who's going to be a type of analytic client pointer. And uh, not an analytic client because it's the interface. I want the analytic, analytic client with this thing, the struct. And now here, it's not best practice, but for us right now, we're going to do OS that get env. So this is the way you can get the uh, environment variable from your uh, uh, terminal, panel, from your uh, machine panel. And now here, what I'm going to do, it's OS get env. And I'm going to see if we are in production. Again, this is not best practice here. It's just for learning purpose. Now I'm going to say analytic client. It, it's equal to uh, analytic dot new. And now I need to pass a client. But when we are in prod, I want to use the segment client. Else, I want to use the mock client. That's it. And now, again, for the testing purpose, I'm going to just call register, the function we just created with the user ID one and maybe bob.gmail.com. This thing return an error. So we're going to do, a, a, if we have an error, I'm going to just do log panic with the error, but we are, we know that never going to happen. And we're going to call also logging and I'm going to go with the user ID two and uh, John. 
So now if I run this code in my terminal, I'm not in prop. Right now my uh, env, it's empty. So now if I run go run min.go, I'm getting mock identify user ID one and Bob Gmail one because my analytic client is this mock new. But now if I do export app env production and now I rerun my code, now I'm getting the segment one. And now that's the beauty of uh, of the interface. It's now whatever API you want to use. Example, I want to add, I don't know, I'm, <laughs> this is a segment I use, but I don't know, you you, you want to use, uh, I don't know, uh, like a John Analytic, whatever. You go here, you call your John Analytic, you do your John Analytic, whatever. You have your package, you go to segment example, just to give you a good place to start and you paste that to John Analytic, that's it. And you do your type client strong, like that. And now here, this is now John Analytic, John Analytic, and now I'm able to use John Analytic in replacing the segment one. So John Analytic new, like that. I don't need to remove that. And now if I go here and I'm running in production, this is now becoming John Analytic. And you see, it's really nice to use interface this way. I feel because now you, you know, then you don't finally, when you create an, it's always a good practice to create an interface for third party API. I feel it's just because you never know when you're going to change provider and maybe you, uh, uh, finally, it's much more easier to work with and you're going to get less issue with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, uh, right now I have a, a course. It's not done yet. It's on pre-sale. It's for learning uh, Golang and GraphQL API. If you like what you've just seen today, I think you're going to like uh, this. Right now, it's a 20 off, uh, $20 off until the course is complete. I have only four videos done yet, but I'm going to, I plan to do at least three to five videos a week. And right now you can buy that for $29.99. So the video we have right now are those. And if you enjoy what you've seen with the interface stuff, I think you're going to enjoy that. So the, the link for this uh, course is going to be in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. You learn a bit and we're going to talk in the next one. Bye everyone.